Goliath has more points than uh, Necrat in this short of a round. Also, we don't have Wool and Spirit, we don't have enough beasts on the board. Keeping Necrat there is risky. I mean, we wreck this with Fog. Time is too good of a card. Sure, you can pet him, long as you don't mind losing an arm. Calm yourselves. This sucks. And honestly, what is Donner doing in ranked again? He, he stole my uh, my foglet, by the way. That's why I didn't hit him with the Bow first slicer. So now, of course, he top decked his restore, right? He has restore in hand there. If he doesn't, I'm pretty sure I win. That does look like restore. So this is. 19. Hey, don't like you. Do I still get him? I lose by one point. That's fucking annoying, isn't it? When you lose by one point. Donner fucking saved him that one point. I mean, we can talk about Restore. Restore is a horrible card as well. I feel like it's Donna what did it there though. Creating a silver is really toxic, makes you avoid playing specific silvers, yeah. I mean, you can't avoid running good silvers though, that's why you run silvers. And that's why Haim is auto include and then Skellige doesn't have flexible gold slots and you end up with fucking veterans and greatswords instead of wild boar to see. Speaking of Wild Boar to see, I could play a bit of Wild Boar to see myself. I promised in the title I'd play a Foltest though. So let's play a bit of Foltest. Uh, this is the old shell you guys will remember. This is a Swarm Tart shell. Uh, we re it because we lost the ability to play for Morn Tart. I put in Merciless for a while, and then that was fun, but it's not competitive at all. So I kicked Merciless and put in the actual gold that is a Southkirk. And I decided to swap out Jennifer Unicorn for a Vernon Roach for a bit. Because I did miss Roach after we kicked Merciless. And this kind of counts as a Roach, right? Roach stays Roach. Decent hand. To be honest, Donner is worse than any other silver. Donner... Donner thrives Special off guys. of... Just for you, love. The one deck in Northern Realms that kind of makes sense, right? Like the armor deck and like... Well, I guess two two decks then. Do people still play armor? I didn't see armor in a while. Like Foltest is, is the NR leader now, right? Foltest with like Thinning and Dijkstra. That also runs Elects though, and then Freya's resurrect soldiers and then you can resurrect after you steal with Donner. Kind of makes sense. Kind of. This is probably shoot. Uh, Folds armor is good, but no one runs it. Uh, I've seen it a couple times. How does it feel, Squirt? Though, get zapped over and over. I'll get punished for playing that too early. I don't even doubt it. Must die. Got business for me. It's not you. Riot. Are you soggling, soggling, juggling sages there? Does that be? Interesting. Bloody non humans. Oh. I see how it is. 
Now I used to run the Sergeant to have a weather clear. I don't anymore. I run Vest now to fix my uh, my bricked hands that inevitably inevitably end up happening. Oh, let's play into it for a while. But we're broke as shit peddlers. Bloody not humans. We kind of get automatically staggered so we don't play into Scorches and Ignis and whatever. If you can get the last commando to not spawn Siege, I'm perfectly fine playing into a two-row Ragnarok. This is a really weird deck. that's what matters. Nice mesh you've got here. Nice spawn, feels good. And we have a sort of a reset target for four points. You should not have come here. Our piles will light up the north. Magic sows chaos. You should probably take the pass here. The storm is, is it even worse Let's than Ox? Man, I didn't get cocked by Ox in a while. Thanks for reminding me. It's gonna be more of an excuse to play full test. I always think it's kind of a waste to play full test without having a PFI on board. I fail men had a verde. Close ranks! Of course the PFI spawns two uh, tokens that you can't hit unless they're on board, with full test that is. Same goes for the, the field medic. What are you going to do? Play into this? Really? Donor's great versus great swords? Yeah, but I didn't see any great swords anymore. And again, when I say that I didn't see them anymore, I'm talking about the like last three days where I was what running Sabbath mean? trying to try hard. I don't know, I have a bunch of soldiers here, right? This is not a soldier, this is not a soldier, and the rest is all soldier. Also not mages. So I have like 18 minus 4, 14, 23. You must sweat like a swine in that jacket. You're not a soldier anymore? When did this guy stop being a soldier? Probably a long time ago, right? Lots of great swords on pro ladder, not much in ranked. Okay, that makes sense. I guess. And yeah, that does make sense. A decent top deck here. I'd like to see one of the golds. Let the dance begin. At least Seldkirk more than Atalus at this point. Might have been correct to punish him for having a three in hand. This is a very risky mulligan. I want to kick this, but then I might draw the infantry. Damn it. Now, how did that incantation go? Alert to arms! So now we have the Reaver Scout at 3, onto the 5. Never mind, we don't. So now we have the Reaver Scout on nothing. But we're broke as But he only has a 7. When the white frost comes, and he has to zap himself. Feels good, and that's why you don't run Ithlin Zap, you filthy little scumatel. Run Epidemic and, and Fog, uh, I tell you. 
<clears throat> Epidemics the, is the cool thing to do, fog is the standard thing to do. Anything more standard than Ithlin fog, don't even bother. 